Okay, today we're going to try and uh, clean up these headlights. I don't know if you can see how bad they are, but they're they're really bad. The light barely shines through them at night. I'm going to try to clean them up. And I've done it before using uh, sandpaper. That's usually how I do headlights with uh, just progressively finer uh, grits of sandpaper. Today I'm going to use going to use this Mother's New Lens Headlight Renewal Kit. It has this little power ball thing here. Um, it does have attachments to use um, sanding paper also, but I'm going to try with the power ball and see how well it cleans up just using drilling that real quick and see if it uh, makes a difference and don't have to go through all the sanding process because if you've ever wet sanded headlights, not a whole lot of fun. So we'll see what happens. Here's a shot of the other headlight. No idea if you can see this through the camera or not. You can just feel how rough and crappy it is. And yeah, definitely these lenses are bad. And uh, you really should mask around the area so that it's uh, protected. So we'll just go ahead and mask this off with some blue painter's tape. So we don't tear up the paint. And if you're really worried about it, you can double up on it, the tape. All right, this is what you get in the kit. You get the sanding pads. This is also a sanding pad or disc. You get the little magic ball thingy, um, attachment for your drill that has Velcro on it, and then you get the polish. So we'll go ahead and use the ball and uh, see how well it cleans up just using the ball because it's Allegedly, this stuff is supposed to do pretty good just with this thing. Um, hopefully, we don't have to uh, sand. But what's nice is they do give you the attachments. You can just stick them on there, just like you can with the ball, and, uh, and go to town with a drill like that. You don't have to do it by hand. So let's get started. First thing we'll do is we'll just clean the headlights real quick. Make sure there's no grime, grease, and dirt on it. Alright, now we just put a little bit of this polishing paste on the end of the magic ball here and Let me work it around. Not too fast with the drill so you don't swing it off.
make sure you overlap, try not to miss anything, I guess. We all know it. Alright, now we'll put a little more on and go kind of high speed. See what I mean about pulling it off? We'll do one last time. Zip for the polish here. All right, we'll let that set up for a second and look at this. Don't tell anybody. The mail person just arrived. Bringing goodies. This wasn't going to be a tour review or anything. We'll see what we got. Oh, look at that. We've got some made in USA trusty cook dead blow hammers. Dead blow ball peen hammers. Got the 26 ounce and the 30, what is this one? I already forgot. 36, so 26 and 36 ounce dead blow ball peen hammers. Very nice. But shh, don't tell anybody. This is what? This isn't a tool of review video. All right, after it sets up just for a minute or two, you don't have to wait long. Get a, a microfiber towel and get these things free at Harbor Freight. And just buff it off. And if you want, if you're not happy with the results, you could do it again. We'll polish it again. I don't know if you can tell the difference. That thing is crystal clean now. Wow. I'm even impressed. I had no idea it was going to look that good. This thing looks nice. And for just taking a couple minutes, man, that, that'll work. I'll take that any day. Now what I like to do, I mean you could stop right here if you wanted to. What I like to do whenever I'm uh, redoing headlights, I will usually, what I normally do is just take a, some standard turtle wax, put the wax on there, let it haze up, and then buff it off. And that puts a, puts a UV protectant on there so the sun doesn't tear this uh, lens up immediately. It'll let it, it should uh, extend the light just a little bit. Now I'm going to try this Meguiar's headlight protectant and it's made specifically to do what we were just talking about once you get them clean 
put this stuff on there and it's supposed to help uh, protect it against the UV. So I'm going to try this stuff and see if it works any good. I guess you just put it on, put it on a clean cloth, just like you would uh, wax and just put it on there, let it haze up, and we'll buff it off. Ooh, this stuff stinks. And we'll let that uh, dry and then we'll buff it off. And with this stuff, you don't have to let it sit too long. Well, there you go. There's a shot of the completed headlight. I think pretty much almost looks brand new. For just a couple minutes, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. I like it. We'll see if that uh, headlight protectant actually holds up better than the turtle wax I normally put on there. Let's check out the other side to get a comparison. And if you can see how yellow and hazed over this one is. And I did clean it, so this is cleaned. But yeah, you can feel it's just rough and crappy. Compared to this one, looks nice and smooth, crystal clear. That light should come out of there a lot better at night. When you're all finished, let's get the tape off. This is why I recommend use a good quality tape. Don't, uh, don't skimp and use crappy tape here. You don't want to clean your headlights only to find out you damaged your paint. Make sure you can clean up the edge in case you got anything around. There you go. That's how it looks. End result. Pretty much crystal clear. And check out the other side. It also looks really good. This one was actually worse. Um, I ended up doing it twice, but it actually still looked really, really good compared to the way it was. So I'm impressed. This stuff works pretty well, considering you only have to do it, you know, just with this, uh, just with this little attachment, you know, just run it on your drill real quick and buff it off, and you're done. And now that I've used, um, I've used this Meguiar's headlight protectant compared to just my standard turtle wax that I've always used. I still like this stuff better, but that's just me. Personal preference. Maybe I'm just an old dog. Uh, no pen intended. So there you go. This, uh, this little kit works pretty well and it's very easy. Certainly easier than wet sanding it. If you've ever wet sanded anything, you know that, that job gets old quick. So, hey, if this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Ooh, made in USA.